This is a follow-up video uh, related to printing, 3D printing these, these arms for the blade MQX. And so initially I started with uh, this arm and if you recall or if you saw the video in MakerWare I set the infill uh, percentage to 10% so that's pretty low. You know if you're not trying to do a very rigid or uh, tough structure then 10% is fine but you'll see that there's a lot of flex with this and so this one I have labeled as it's actually a 50% infill and he's actually a little bit more rigid and durable so these guys on here are actually done at a hundred percent infill and so they're, they're gonna be I think that's gonna do the trick now one thing I had to do was uh, originally I'd, I'd hollowed out a hole just down the shaft uh, that we could wire through and I decided you know that that actually created a bit of um, weakness in the structure, so went ahead and just made these solid and I'm gonna either wrap the wire around the boom. But the main intent of this demonstration is I'm using a program called SketchUp. And so these, my initial measurements were 2.2 millimeters by 2.2 millimeters by 89 millimeters long. And so, what I've been finding out is if you if you see this measurement with these calipers, I measure down in the program, like in Google SketchUp, you'll see 2.2 millimeters. But if I do a measurement with the calipers, it's 1.82 millimeters. If I rotate it to the other side, we have 2.13 millimeters. And you'll notice there's some inaccuracies with the print. And what I wanted to do was actually, based on some feedback that I received uh, from people in the 3D printing community, was actually do a calibration test. And what the calibration test is, it's an object I downloaded from Thingiverse, and I'll post a link in the, de the video description, but it's a 40 millimeter by 40 millimeter cube. So I just printed this, and what I'm going to do is uh, show you, I'm gonna take a measurement of uh, the sides and we're going to take a look and see uh, how off how far off from that 40 millimeters uh, we are and so what I'll do as as a reference is I'm going to label this side the X you know axis and then the side over here is the Y axis just so you know as we're uh, doing this we have a point of reference to be able to determine you know the inaccuracies on which axis the in inaccuracies lie there we go so it's 40 millimeter on each side. So let me go ahead and label this. We'll call this X. We'll call this Y. Just for the record, this cube has a 10% infill, which is the uh, print setting I used. If you take a look, it took about 40 minutes to print. So, you know, not lightning fast, but you know, it is kind of magical to be able to design something and then 40 minutes later have it just build right in front of your eyes. I'll go ahead and measure on the X. So we're looking at on the X about 0.2 millimeters off. Take a look at the Y now. It looks like about 0.15 millimeters off. Let's take a look at the Z axis print. And that's actually quite a bit more off. That's a looks like 0.7 millimeters off. So there is a little bit of inaccuracy. Um, I've learned that as I'm printing these kind of just real small quad parts like this boom that you know you have to account for that inaccuracy and actually use a scaling factor, maybe scale up a little bit. So from what I've learned so far, I don't think it's a reasonable uh, expectations to, you know, design something and expect it to be 100% accurate. You know, there is a little bit of inaccuracy and if the tolerance is low enough, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So I was able to get these arms mounted and I'll uh, have a follow up of actual flight demo, but I did do some soldering and wiring first. And next steps really for me are, I have this iPower motor and I'm gonna do a um, 
torque measurement test and to do that I'm actually going to create a little um, actually this is the bottom I'm going to create a little motor mount 3d printed motor mount to get this on a piece of pine uh, wood that I got from Home Depot so once that's mounted I can do some uh, torque testing so stay tuned and I hope this helps thanks for watching